oh my god, why can't I say job? I have one, you'd think I could say it. folks, Grace here, and thank you for joining me today. This week's project was a request from one of my coworkers. She asked me for a scarf, and her one requirement was that it have pink. So I took pictures of all the yarn I have that contains pink, which was more than I expected, and from those she picked her favorite. I have lost the label, but I believe it was maybe Lion brand. Uh, one of those mandala cakes. And if memory served, this particular color was called Wizard. As you can see, I am bad at keeping labels, so please don't come at me if I'm wrong. Obviously, when you're making something for someone you know, you want it to be something that they will like and use and wear. So I always try to keep in mind the kind of things that they do like, as well as what it is that they're asking for. Because at the end of the day, if you don't have anything to wear it with, you're probably not going to end up wearing it too much. Now, this particular co-worker likes a lot of sleek, simple, modern styles. Combining that with the fact that she chose a yarn that has such a wide variety of color, I decided to let those colors take center stage. So I chose a very simple stitch and one that I was pretty sure would work with this yarn. In the past, I have made similar scarves to this yarn with uh, something called a bean stitch, which is kind of like a small half size puff stitch that's at an angle so it kind of looks like it's woven. The problem with that stitch is that it uses a lot of yarn. For one of those scarves I typically go through two skeins of those patterns and I only had one for this project. So I decided to work out something that had a similar feel but didn't use as much yarn. I'm sure the stitch I used is probably out there on the internet with some cutesy little name, but I came to it just by kind of experimenting. Essentially one of those half size puff stitches and then a single chain stitch. Now having the alternating stitches gives it a kind of interlocking, almost woven looking pattern, while the chain stitches in with the puff stitches give it more length because you're not using as much yarn on those stitches. It does a really great job of showing off the gradients within the yarn because between each of the main colors there's kind of a couple steps in between and with that interlocking pattern it really shows it off. From there once I decided on the stitch it was just a simple matter of making an infinity scarf so just making a loop and then the next row and then the next row. Overall, I like it a lot. The colors in this yarn are beautiful and it's very satisfying to work with. Those little steps in the gradient really make you feel like you're making progress, uh, partially because you're making progress and partially because the changes in color make it feel more productive. If there's anyone out there who wants to learn how to crochet or knit but they get disheartened by how long it takes, I would def definitely recommend one of these cake or ombre style yarns because they do make you feel like you're making progress at a rapid rate. So you feel a little bit more satisfied in what you're making during the process. I feel like a lot of people get disheartened because they, they'll start off with something that's like a solid color or is maybe a little bit bigger than their first project should be and it just takes forever and so then they put it down and they don't want to go back to it because it's so boring or whatever but it really doesn't, they don't get to that point where they have the satisfaction of having created an object so this yarn would be really helpful for that because you do feel like you're making progress throughout the whole thing. To be honest I needed this project this week. It was quick and simple and satisfied my itch to create something. It was a great recoup from last week's disaster where I didn't end up with anything finished after putting 
countless hours and you know when something like that happens it's pretty discouraging but to then be able to just turn around and make this scarf so quickly was really satisfying thank you again for joining me i hope you enjoyed this today if you um, did please feel free to like share subscribe i try to post most fridays but if you want to make sure not to miss anything definitely ring the notification bell i've been grace you've been great and until next time remember to be excellent to each other have a great day